Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at Shan Chi style Sui Jiao. So obviously this is referring to the region and it's jacketless and at the same time there is some really big beautiful throws and I don't know much about the rules. I'm sure uh, they're contested. However, it's very much like judo. Once you get that big throw, it's finished and you would probably imagine it's just only leg picks, but no, I was genuinely surprised. It's a big video, it's a long video, um, but I just picked up some of you uh, throws and they're really nice. And of course, I'm gonna be sharing them with you because they're just picturesque. So this one is the first. And as you can see, they just, walk into each other there's no uh, particular uniform and uh, all they need is shoes everything else you just wear whatever you want so it's very casual so he was going for a foot sweep grabbed the leg and reaped it with both hands and drove the opponent down so this is classic morotegari when there's no jacket obviously this technique is going to be your first one to see so morote gari is reaping with both hands you can reap only one leg no need for both as you will see an example later so uh, you can do it from the gripping you can do it as a feint after a feint of another throw and of course you can just dive in deeply uh, into it directly and it's banned because of that whole wrestling thing in judo but it's really a shame there can be some ways around it here it is so he just tackles one leg with both hands and use his shoulder to take his opponent down and then rolls over so this next one is amazing wow so look at what happened you have a collar tie and what happened was he went to pick his leg up and then his opponent turns around to throw with Uchimata but he dodged it and then scooped the leg up and then continued with Sukui Nake. Gorgeous! So look at this. Kuchiki Daoshi Uchimata to Sukui Nage. Wow! I was amazed when I saw this. So Sukui Nage is unfortunately banned either. It's a great it's a great counter technique uh, if you use it uh, against really big throws. So here, Uchimata, you just remove yourself away, grab the leg that's reaping, and you just scoop it up ever so slightly. And then everything else is just done by your opponent, actually. So if you avoid it and you don't scoop the leg, it's Sukashi. Here, another counter is to O Sotogari. So the leg that's going over you grab you pick up hence the name and then you slam down you can also pick up both legs pick them up and slam them down that would also be a variation of sukuinage different than morotegari so again brilliant counter by the by the wrestler so this one here is quite interesting i'm gonna say so he goes for uh, Morote Gari, but then uh, he feels the overwhelming weight of his opponent. So, from that leg grab, throws with Uranage. It's quite interesting, uh, unique, I should say. This next one, wow! So, the heavier opponent goes in with all momentum and goes for a collar tie, and his opponent reads it lowers him in grabs what it looks like ippon seonage but finishes as uchi makikomi because of how he flattened himself down on the ground and rolled over to finish the throw so it's great how he locks the elbow grabs the arm and rolls over just brilliant so this is uchi makikomi 100 percent he just flattens himself out 
in order to finish it. So this is Uchimaki Komi. You see, it has a Ippon Seo Enage grip, but you roll over so you can wrap them around and then flatten yourself out. And that's how you complete the throw. Uchimaki Komi cannot be done by standing up. It's a Sutemi, so you have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So after a failed Seonage, you can do this. Um, Uchimaki Komi is also quite popular in Greco-Roman wrestling. You see it quite often. This one here, classic, Kuchiki Daoshi, so, or what you call knee pick, so collar tie, let's go of the arm, pushes it off, grabs the back of the knee and drives forward. So he doesn't uh, reap it towards him with both hands, so he just picks it up with one and then pulls towards him and drives down as in Kuchiki Daoshi. I'm using judo terminology because I'm looking at this video through my judo experience. I don't know what they're called in Chinese, so if anyone would be kind enough, please let us know. So this uh, Kuchiki Daoshi is actually, can be done uh, in two ways actually. You can actually um, grab from the inside, as you can see here, or you can grab from the outside that would also qualify as uh, Kuchiki Daoshi. You can see the name written on the bottom right of the screen, bottom left, excuse me. And here you see you drive down as you pick up the back of the knee. So this was very popular back in the day in Judo and it's a great hand technique. And um, you see, it's very reliable. You don't have to go all the way down you control the upper body and then you put them down and you can control their landing. So for self-defense, also that's a wonderful technique. So you can do it from the inside and you can do it from the outside as well, depending on where are you gripping the upper body. So uh, this is a great style of Swai Zhao. Um, one of the subscribers commented on this, so I checked it out. It was truly amazing. So shout out to you. and. Thank you uh, so much for all your support, all of you with all the comments, etc. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Also consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content and also to support this work and keep it uh, rolling and constant and consistent. So let me know. This was Shadi and as always, thank you for listening.